Seeing isn't believing. Believing is seeing. Hi, I'm Captain Dale Black. Jesus said, Assuredly, I say to you, if you have faith and do not doubt, you will not only do what was done to the fig tree, but also if you say to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, it will be done. And whatever things you ask in prayer, believing, you will receive. When Jesus spoke these words to his disciples, I believe he was teaching them and us that with God there are no limits. Jesus was saying they could have whatever things they ask for if they would believe. Now, I've come to understand with a lifetime of personal experiences as evidence that this is amazingly true. And I've learned this not as a preacher behind a pulpit, but as a businessman and as a professional airline pilot. The only thing that limits what God can and will do in our life is our belief system. It sounds so simple, doesn't it? Yet most people don't have the renewed belief system that Jesus was talking about. Interesting thing, however, all of us can have that kind of belief, that kind of faith. All we need to do is build a belief system upon God and upon His Word. Your life as it exists right now is largely a result of what you have believed over the past weeks, months, and years. Now this means that if you want to see change in your life, you must first change what you believe. The good news is this. God has already given you the ability to control your destiny and your future. How? Well, if you've made Jesus the Lord of your life, then the life that you are living is not a hit-and-miss experiment. You've been granted access to the godly things that you desire through your ability to believe God. You can tap into the limitless miracle power of God by building up and strengthening your faith. I'm talking about faith in God, faith in what He has said in His Word. I'm, I'm saying no doubting, but believing what God has said and what He has promised. Jesus desired that His disciples would think outside of the box, to think like God thinks rather than as the world thinks. He wanted them to believe God for the impossible, and He's, he's wanting that for us too. He was telling them that the only requirement for receiving was their believing. He knew the only obstacle to this kind of believing was the natural mind. You hear what I'm saying? The natural mind. In this present day, God has the same desire for you and I to live inside His strength and inside of His blessings each and every day. Now, if we don't think outside the box, then we think according to our five senses and our natural mind. Well, let me tell you what that means. The natural mind is going to come up with lots of reasons why it cannot happen. The natural mind will explain precisely why it will not work. The natural mind will block the supernatural it will limit you to the probable, the logical, and only the reasonable. Now, if you are praying for a family member who has wandered away from God, if your finances look completely impossible, if your business is in deep trouble, well, whatever it is you're praying for, God can turn it around. But He won't do it without you being in agreement with the answer. He won't do it if you're not in agreement with your thoughts, your words, your actions, and your faith. This is how God works. He has promised in His Word that it can and will happen when you believe. Allow me to encourage you. Why not start this week and create a new life for yourself? Be all you were created to be. Fulfill God's purpose for your life. Yeah, live your dream by doing what Jesus said to do. Believe. 
After all, believing has no limits. Now here's a four-step flight plan or a road map that will help you remove previous limitations. Try doing these four things. Number one, set your heart and mind fully on God's Word and the promises that He's made to you. Number two, choose to believe God's Word is true, that it's the final authority. Number three, believe that you receive those things that you ask for in prayer. And fourthly, tell yourself out loud that God is making you into a spiritual giant with mountain-moving faith. This is Dale Black saying, you can do it. Remember, with God, nothing is impossible.